right, good morning everyone. Welcome back to the Two Stroke Turbo Channel. See my shop dog Stella here trying to get out of the hot sun here in Portland, Oregon and rest in the shade next to a nice cool tank of water. That's our, uh, that is our fountain of youth right there, I tell you what. Let's go to the shop, I wanna show you something. We're working on a cool little car today. We always are working on cool little cars. That's why they call this the two-stroke turbo channel. This is an Isetta. I'm working on it for a while. I'm kind of getting to the end of this. I finished up the Reliant Robin yesterday. You guys saw that. And we're off to the next car. We're off to the races. This car came in with oil like all the way out the side. And the customer said, it's making a funny ticking noise. And I was like, oh. So it didn't hardly have any oil in it. And it's pretty new engine. So we're doing a compression test. So I've got my compression test hooked up here. Behind the seat, there is a port that goes into the one cylinder, 13 horsepower engine. And I'm gonna set this right here. Let's see if you can see this while I crank it over. I'm gonna turn the key right here. Throttle is not open, but. A little over 90, it looks like. Well, actually right on 90. It's not great. It's okay. Like to see over 100, but I think that's all this has got, which is unfortunate. So it may have sustained a little damage from running out of oil. I don't know. Um, we're going to fire it up here and get her back on the road. We had to fix a few other little issues. This guy really likes to drive his car. Okay, so we've put this cabriolet, I set it to the side. It is basically ready to go. I'm waiting for a few parts from the machine shop to come back. I'm having some new drums cut. Uh, these are stamped steel drums, and we wish to put on cast iron for better heat dissipation. This guy drives his car, and we want to make it stop a little better. So let's spin around to the next Isetta. It's not that one, that one there. And this is not an Isetta. I'll show you what I'm talking about. This Isetta, the one with the white top, this would be Ima. We're working on Ima's engine today. Let's see if we can get this together. So we're in the main part of the shop. It's hot outside and I like working under the air conditioning vent. It's so nice and cool. So we are putting Ima's engine back together, cleaned up all the mating surfaces. We've got a new clutch to put in, a new cylinder, a new piston, and we're gonna hope it doesn't burn oil. So today we're focused on putting Ima's heart back into the meat of the car, I guess is what you'd say. Or, or how does that go? I don't know. Heart back into the body, something like that. It needs to have its engine back. Okay, so as we build the engine that's going into IMA, I've got a few things I wanna share with you. This is our new piston. It looks spotted. It's totally fine. It's just new old stock. It's a cast aluminum Molly piston, which is the original equipment. And you can see it's got this little dome on the top. That's a concave dome that does this. This one is the old piston and it's much flatter. So there's a little bit of a compression increase. I don't like this expansion slot. This old piston that was in the engine has quite a bit of scuffing if you look. And I don't understand why that's there because that did not transfer to the cylinder. It's like dirt went through the engine, but it must have affected something because this thing burned quite a bit of oil you can see the oil uh, like the path it took it kind of spun around the edges of the piston by the rings and it was focused toward the center so i'm hoping this new piston with a chrome ring on the top two compression rings and then a one-piece oil ring will be better and i've set these rings the gaps so that they're all um, 30 degrees apart from each other. They don't overlap. This one had an overlap problem with the rings. I don't know. So anyhow, we're getting ready to use our ring compressor. We're going to compress the rings and put the barrel on and we'll continue on rebuilding IMA. Okay, so while I'm here rebuilding the engine for IMA, a couple more things came to mind. This is the old piston that was in, if I can get that out of there, in the air. Here, let go. Why are you grabbing on? Okay, this piston is the old one with the expansion joint, is quite a bit more beefy on the inside. It has these ribs kind of going around the pins. 
the pin is floating in the in the uh, little end of the rod, but it is um, tight. Uh, no, let's say seized, but it fits snugly in the piston bosses. Um, that's one thing I wanted to mention. The other is, I put this together, and while I was putting it together, I totally forgot about checking my ring end gaps. So I got to pull this back apart again and check my ring end gaps. I don't want it to pinch a ring or break a land. So that's important. You have to take the rings off the piston, set them in your cylinder, and file them. I have a little tool, a little, it's like a little jack-in-the-box grinding thing to file the ring end gaps, and that needs to be done. So we're going to pull it back apart and probably pick up again next time. Okay, so we've got our piston, I'm sorry, our cylinder back off of our piston. We've got the top ring in the bore, which is three inches, and we're looking for 12 thousandths. I have my ring grinder tool here and my ring expansion tool. Let's make this right. Okay, so we're working on our Aseta engine. We've got our head gasket on. We've got our head sealing surface cleaned up. It has the craziest oil pressure system. The oil comes up through this little tube, pressure tube, up through the gasket, and then it gets split to both of the rocker arm assemblies, and then it drains back through the pushrod. Funky. So this will look like this in a few minutes. Sits on there just like that. I hope it didn't fall. Get that bolted down, get the rocker arm assemblies in there, and we're on our way. Then we got to figure out the clutch, which is down there. I think this is going to end it for the day. Uh, it's getting pretty late, and I want to get this bolted up and get this car back on the road probably next week, so you'll see it putting around. Thanks for coming along on this journey of assembling a Isetta engine. We had kind of an Isetta day today. Thanks for, thanks for being there. Hope you learned something.